Welcome back to Fate. This is session 48. Woo! Uh, lots of awesome stuff has happened. Uh, I have some interesting ideas for session 50, depending upon how far we get. Uh, should be a good time. That awesome. That <laughs> that's, a great, that's a great ring tone. It's really weird because uh, you think it would be brighter it being daytime, but it feels like it's darker in here. <laughs> yeah, it does a little bit. <laughs> I feel like it's darker. But it is so daylight out, which is super awesome. We're starting like three hours earlier than we used to. Uh, this will be a regular thing, at least for the foreseeable future. You never know. Uh, things may change. The day may change depending upon how things progress. Uh, we'll keep you updated on that as it happens. Uh, to recap. Recap. Oh, wait. <coughs> a bag. Oh, I need mine too. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah, how are you uh, going to screw us over without your die? I don't need dice to screw you guys over. Oh, right thanks. Here. Just he my voice just, alone. He can just make a rolling sound with his phone and say, hey, look, you're fucked. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to Whoops. finish the dice. Whoops. Whoops. That 20, that 20. <laughs> <laughs> 20, 20, 20, 20, son of a bitch. Indeed. Indeed. Uh, in the cubbyhole, there's a Dragon Quest bag. Oh, yes. For, my, for mine dice. Uh, yeah. Shit. Oh, yeah, Thank I was you. looking at that last uh, one. Cool bag. These are Eli's. In the way, these Eli are Arkins or something? Four. He's at Warcore. Uh, well, he was and Eli he was Rainer. is out yeah. doing Eli things. metalhead things in North Carolina. I wouldn't call Warcore metal. Whatever. Yeah. What? Uh, Who was there? Go Whatever. Oh, God. <laughs> Whatever it is, <laughs> it's neat. Like anyway, <laughs> they oh. have been Slayer having oh, a blast. A scary blast, so to speak. Uh, first of all, they fought some armies. That was kind of neat. And they made it into Akushnar proper. Dark. Specifically, yeah. the yeah. entry hall. And they defeated all the enemies there. We killed now, them. Uh, to give you a little bit more info there, because it's been a little bit of time since we played last. Um, <clears throat> there's the six large... I'll show you a picture! I have a picture here. Picture! Oh! Probably can't see it that well, because it's 8 half by 11, but... Uh, so you have... There are six columns here, there are ten tables. Um, some of them are broken. Most of them are still intact. Uh, they're stone. More than craftsmanship, bitch. They're, yep. they're stone uh, tables. Uh, in the center, there is a solid gold throne, which has in its back embedded an axe. I uh, like gold. A very oh. masterfully crafted <coughs> axe, which I'm assuming is the next step in bitch. your process. <coughs> There's a right there. Okay. <clears throat> I has reach. I I am I do not. Oh. Still building up my dice pool. <laughs> Could be okay. endless. Cool, cool. Now. Uh, second sure we are here. Alright. Also, and this is very important. Off to either side of this room are two other doors. You only see the doors, not the actual rooms, but uh, they're very intricately carved also with dwarven runes and the like. Uh, they lead to somewhere. You have not really gotten the chance somewhere to investigate. <laughs> we automatically just start opening up all the doors. No checking, just... Uh, do you? With no. Well, we have that amulet on, so traps don't work on us. We don't have to worry about that, right? That's nah. not what that does. No? That is not what that does at all. Damn. <laughs> well. No, no, no. Uh, the amulets that you have. <laughs> I say that, you correct point me. to bring up. Uh, Ulfgar has given you all amulets that have on it the Frostbeard sigil. Yep. You are honorary members of my You clan. are honorary members of Clan Frostbeard. Oi! <laughs> so, you've cleared the room. On the far end, there are stairs that go down and stairs that go up. And there are, again, the two doors. 
leading off to side chambers and the throne. What would you like to do? I'm going straight up to the throne and getting the axe. I'm not even checking for traps. Fuck it. I'm just going to grab the axe. See? That was a good move. <laughs> I recall this about playing this character now. He has my favorite spell. <laughs> what spell? Shatter. Shatter's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he can cast Shatter without using a spell <clears throat> slot with his weapon, right? No. His weapon throws uh, ice. Well, no. I mean his bardic weapon. Doesn't he have a bardic instrument? Oh, yes. I don't know that it does shatter. Most of them do. It might. Because it's a sonic <coughs> spell. And I think Let's hear Sven's fiddle. Sven Spittle? I don't fiddle. know. Oh, yeah, that's the that that was the you know best bardic weapon. You just made it a fiddle for him instead of a loot. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Okay. Fusion, some other word I can't <coughs> think of. So Ulfgar approaches the axe, and when you entered, you actually saw one of the uh, demons that was in there trying to pull the axe off, and every time he would touch it, it would like kind of push him back and stuff. You re so you just walk up. I step up onto the throne because I'm short as hell. <laughs> well, I mean, you can reach it. Like, mm -hmm. it's kind of on a little really dais. Anthony helped last session. Like, one, one was, or two steps up. Well, the way I was assuming it was is like it was embedded in the back of the throne, know. so I'd have to step up onto the seat to get to it. No, no, like, the X shaft is facing the seat. Okay. Yeah, it's just also, like embedded into the back of the, 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 the. It is. The back of the. How long has this been here? Since last time you guys were here. Oh. I thought but I just left it in my trunk. I just never left it in my trunk. And you feel cool. a, 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 and, a and sort of warm oh, well, sensation. It would at my house, too. <laughs> uh, coming from it. And Suddenly, in your mind, you appearance. hear... Finally. A worthy wielder. I, I wouldn't call him worthy. Ooh, I got an <laughs> item! Read what it does. So this is the Axe of the High King. The legendary war axe does require attunement. It's got a plus <coughs> three bonus, uh, one d10 slashing, bludgeoning, or piercing, depending on the form, and plus two d6 thunder damage. Oh, this weapon wielded by the High King of Athelstan can change Shower. with a thought from a war axe to a war pick and a war hammer, changing the damage type. Only a dwarf who is destined to be High King can even touch the axe. Any others who grab it take 4d6 psychic damage. If an unworthy dwarf grabs it, he takes no damage, but a whisper enters his mind stating, you are not the one, go in peace. So, Ulfgar's destined to be High King. <coughs> Good to yeah. know. I'm glad we're friends and we're part of that clan. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be on the High Council. Yeah. You will soon Schnark. find that it's good to be the king. Yeah. yeah. All right. Fantastic. So I, I, I'm going to look at the group real quick. Do, do we need to take a rest or anything after that massive battle outside? And, I mean, I, I'm, I'm hurting a little bit. No, you but. didn't take any damage. I took only, I think, 60. Um, <laughs> only 60. I'm at full health. <laughs> That's awesome. Man, I, took 60. I took... <coughs> By the way, Corey will be here soon. Yep. Sorry. So, worry not, he will be here. <coughs> All those fangirls out there. I took yeah. Love that baby face viz. <laughs> do you want to do like a short rest? Because, I mean, I've got this really cool weapon I need to attune to. Yes, let's do that. Also, do you uh, tell us about this thing? Do you know what it is? Other you than notice. I mean, I don't know what it is because yet. because you have the Doomslayer weapon. You actually notice that there is a twinge of respect coming from the Doomslayer hammer concerning this particular uh, weapon. I might need to switch him out right quick because <coughs> I've got like three attunement weapons. <laughs> Yes, you do. <laughs> you have a Dwarven Thrower. Which actually does better damage than the Doom Slayer. You have Yule Smash. Uh-huh. And then you have... This thing. Uh, this thing. So you can't get rid of Yule Smash because he has fillings. <laughs> Yule Smash might be going in the bag of holding for right now. Oh, man. You may not like that. Okay, I'll take it. I'll dual wield. No, we've already okay. discussed you can't dual wield so Doom Slayers. It I'll try it. <laughs> understands, given the circumstances, the need to 
use the axe, switch to the axe because of the situation. Um, but you'll need to find a wielder for it soon, yeah. or it will find one. Itself, yeah, and it might not be somebody we like. <coughs> Ty, you can use a hammer, right? This is a sniper. Technically. I mean, technically, I mean, definitely yes. I could. <laughs> he would. He, he <laughs> yeah, would. you're like, oh, all right. <laughs> well, it teleports, right? It's a, yeah. is it, it teleports you. The oh, weapon. dude. Just, uh, I'm just like, huh. Boom! <laughs> I'm gonna throw it up in the air and just do jump snipes. <laughs> and take fall damage. Hey, <laughs> if I get that headshot, it doesn't matter. Put it on the monitor. 360 no yeah. scope. Yeah. <laughs> or I go to just jam it and fall to my death. Lol wrecked. Get good, scrub. <laughs> Alright, I'm done with that. Sorry. Come at me, scrub. Lord, I'm ripped. <clears throat> I'm ripped. Alright, so if we're going to take a, a short rest, I'm going to go ahead and take it to this. And so, is everyone doing a short rest, or do some people want to go investigate the uh, this, this side? I'll course? investigate. I'm a hurt. Oh. Yeah, I need to I'll take a little bit of a rest. A little nappy nap. I'll walk okay. A little bit. Look at stuff. Very cool. Touch very it. cool. So, let's, let's see. The closest one to you guys we'll get would actually be don't we? we have full health. The one I don't. The you one know? to the I'm south. Not full health right now. No, I thought we did something with, with our with hit dice do I thought we just got max now. Oh no, it was with potions, I guess. Potions heal max. Yeah. Um hit dice, hit roll. dice you roll unless he casts Beacon of Hope. Beacon of Hope, I need to know what spell that spell level that is before. <clears> because within the Beacon of Hope zone all, all healing is max. All healing is max. Ah. Uh, and it's got a pretty decent radius. It's 30 feet from me. It does other things, too. Well, we're all, like, huddled together. Yeah, I mean, that's completely understandable. Uh, you do still I'm just hear, looking at his axe. I'm like, you do the still the hear the sounds of combat going on outside, so uh, taking a short rest will affect uh, that. <laughs> you're, you're spending about half an hour to an hour just hanging out. While while the battle's going on outside, it's fine. We did our part multiple <laughs> times. Um, so, Imch, Imch, you approach the closest door. Yeah. Do you speak or uh, like do you speak Dwarvish at all? Nope. Cool. Nope. Cool story. <laughs> I'm a common and Dwarvish. <clears throat> okay. Can I just go over and help him? Huh? Can we just? Can I go? Yeah. I'm not hurt. So. Yeah, you yes. Do too, so. uh, and my character does speak dwarven. He does. Yes. He has the belt. Um, yep. So I don't have any like actual, you know, anything written out for this. I might do that later. Don't touch uh, me. For the sake <laughs> of the adventure module or whatever. I am casting. Um, by the way, so all healing is maxed. You spend hit dice if you need to to heal, which is always good. You can attune to your new sweet weapon. Always good. Uh, this door has text on it that essentially uh, cancel. states that um, any any non dwarves there's there are wards on the doors. Pencils. Uh, I don't know where. Are they not up there? In the oh, box. I see them now. Yeah. Oh, uh, basically, any any non dwarf who tries to open the door, will, something will happen. <coughs> it's not super, super oh, clear go. as to what that is. Oh, okay. um, no, but we are honorary members of. Grand well, you can try. You haven't tried to open the door yet. Being honor honorary members, you don't know what what will happen. All right, I'll go ahead and try to open the door. Okay, uh, give me a percentile roll. Okay. This I can do. Got mm -hmm. I got a 16. 16. Okay, cool. Um, I hope we were looking for the <laughs> You are actually okay. Nice. It does not seem to harm you. It almost seems like, for the briefest of instance, that the door is confused. <laughs> <laughs> if that makes sense. Yeah. And then it, it opens up it's silent, like these doors have been set in there perfectly because it works. <coughs> and you open the door. Uh, this room is, let's see, that would be number four, yes. Okay, cool. <coughs> this room has well-designed folding chairs. 
Um, actually, th th this is the first time you've ever seen a folding chair, ever, uh, because they just don't normally exist. Okay. Because they just build regular chairs. It's not something that's... Drawer, drawers are imitated like that. Um, that. Those are off to one side, and a series of barrels are off to the other side, and they're about, they're, they're keg size, barrels. Um, and you'll notice this immediately. Um, on, like, scored, or uh, what is the term for that? Uh, branded. Burned, branded, onto these barrels is the symbol, and it looks like an older model of the symbol, but it is the symbol of the Frostbeard clan. Cool. <coughs> um, Do we get keep that extra 20 hit yes. points? Okay. It was from Hero's Feast. Cool. Do you uh, let anyone know about these barrels? <coughs> uh, yeah, sure. I'll be like, hey guys, there's some, some barrels in here. Uncle Frosty, you might be interested in them. Hey, um, just real quick. Is the axe going to be also able to be thrown or no returning property? It does not have a returning property. Fair enough. I can't hit everything. No, you can't. <coughs> Good try, though. No, it's a freaking beast of a weapon. Two-handed or one-handed? Uh, it is... I'm really hoping you say one-handed because I got a shield. It can be wielded one-handed. Good. Yeah. You you do uh, 1d12 if you will with two hands. I don't think I put that in there. Nope. Anyway. Um... So the short rest happens. You kind of take a moment to search the area. Uh, give me an investigation. <laughs> <laughs> Got a 13. 13. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> you don't find anything out of the ordinary uh, in here. It just seems like a storage area. Um, would anyone else either during or after the short rest, want to investigate the room. Jeez. I'm, I'm, I'm just here so I don't get fined. So once I'm done uh, yeah. tuning to the axe, I'll, I'll go in there. So you go into that storage room as well, and you see the, the casks of the, that are branded with the Frostbeard logo. That's Corey. <clears throat> and just dropped my knees. Oh, hi, buddy. This is. It's the lost brew. <laughs> it is. These are barrels of frost brew of fr frost beard ale that have been aging <laughs> since Apple Schnar fell. Fell, which is a long time ago. Now they're still sealed very well. Uh, give me an investigation check. <laughs> I'm, I'm almost as bad as Imsha these. I think Psy can step in and help you out with that. That would be really helpful. <clears throat> that would give me an advantage. Mm -hmm. Well, he can also roll with advantage if it, cause his his roll. his is really good. Yeah, he got it. Uh, 24. 24, I will allow it. That's going to be... I got, I got like an like 8. <clears throat> so, <Hey. laughs> there were 10... Start to kind of move them to see if there's anything going on there. And one of the barrels feels a little bit lighter than the rest. Uh, and, like, typically when you kind of pick them up and, and move them around, and you're strong enough to do that because they're fucking heavy. Like 29 strength. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, like, most of them sound sloshy <laughs> because it's full of ale. Slosh! But the, the one that feels a little bit lighter <coughs> has it. It almost feels like it's f or it sounds like it's full of sand, and there's something more solid that is kind of like bumping around in it. It's like, oh yeah, boy, can you check this for traps? <coughs> that's that's a bad. It's good. <laughs> it's a one. It's good. All right, cool. Uh, so I'm gonna crack it open. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, Make a I note mean, of this. Cla ra class wise. In your, well, in your your lovely oh. notebook. Oh, okay, so you multi class. Yeah. So you have them back to the okay, man. Like level <coughs> 10, 11. Okay. Do you, you get to call you just like on your skill points. Break the yeah. barrel open. I'm gonna pop the top. Okay, cool. The first thing of particular note is nine barrels of Frostbeard of uh, ancient Frostbeard ale. How, how uh, wide are these I'm barrels? Running a bar here. It's about the size of a keg. <laughs> nice, okay. Oh, you're taking your right my bag of I guess that's so. pretty damn empty. <laughs> Each barrel, because we'll of its age, is worth five thousand gold. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Where's the money? Uh, we it's have well enough money to set us up for life already, but this is just nice. Oh, I need a, uh, it's a DLC it's a good uh, business starter. Wow. So <laughs> or continue. All right, you pop the top, and it is indeed full of sand. Um, in particular, um, cup powder, which he can take if he'd like it. Uh, take it back in that bag holding. I'm going to holler. Oh, hey! Over here! Grab yeah. powder! We secure oh. this. But oh. within, <laughs> within the barrel Start salivating. <laughs> is a, um, it, it appears to be some sort of rod. Uh, and carved on on the, the sort of center of it, it just says apple strong. So write this down. Snark. Uh, rod of apple strong. It will come into play later. Cool rod. It also looks like good, big it rod. has some sort <laughs> of um, that rod? That's a good rod. It's attachment. It's good. <laughs> areas <laughs> where <laughs> something, <laughs> something can attach to it, maybe? It's not really super clear what that's for, or like what it is, but... <coughs> can I roll a history check to see if I recognize it for any of the... I need another one of the sheets to just yes. do this whole thing. <coughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to get it, but garbage. it's worth a shot. Yeah. You can... Yeah. Um, since this is really he could good. also cast Legend Lore if he wanted. Oh, that's true. Does Eisenschmidt have Legend Lore? I don't know if he has Legend Lore. I don't think he does. He's I don't think he does. not that kind of bard. <laughs> I don't think he does either, but he might. I have that spell. Do you? I believe I do. Let me double check. It's level 5. So you know, I cannot cast I Legend Lore, but I can detect your thoughts. <laughs> I, I, I can. Fuck it, I'm just going to cast Legend Lore. <clears throat> okay. Because I have that spell. It's a sixth level spell, yeah. right? Fifth, okay. Nice. I, I don't have any fifth level healing spells that I'm carrying about right now. Cool. So Legend lore. Way. Awesome. So this is a part of what is known as the Mall of Appleshire. Oh, 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 more weapons. And it's not actually technically used as a weapon. It's used primarily uh, to open the vault. You just said that. As I can. <laughs> do you, with, with with that spell, do you just learn, like, everything? Yeah. It is broken up good. into four different pieces. Okay, so name or describe a person, place, or object the spell brings to your mind a brief summary of the significant lore about the thing you named. Cool. Okay. It's broken up into four pieces, and each piece... Is uh, is used in some format or another to open stuff, right? Uh, there is a hint in the lore that it may have some other purpose and usage, but you don't quite get that. Well, it says the more information you already have about the object, the more precise and detailed the information you receive is. Okay. So yeah, I'm, you I'm have. It. You have. Well, that's true, but you also have <laughs> zero reference. Fair enough. <coughs> for this. Not gonna lie, I heard Maul of whatever the guy's name is. Apple, Apple Snow. That's Apple the Snark. name of the kingdom. So I was thinking, like, oh, is there a Sephora in here? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's big ass him. Oh, okay. M A U L. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like what happens when you let a great cat loose and it just. Or a bear. Mauled by bear. Yes. He Oh, you need that? <coughs> I'm finished. Fantastic. That's really the only thing of relevance in this. I'm going to tap one of these kegs, though. 
I just want to. I want to try some of this ale. Okay. Buzz. Buzz. Twenty five minutes. Buzz. Everybody. Oh. I'm actually just using a stop clock. Time. So. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Got it. That buzz. We will wait. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, actually, go ahead. Later.